everyone, thanks for tuning in and, and checking out what we're doing. We are here in Victoria, British Columbia. We're here specifically to do the Mungo Martin Story Pole, which is the largest pole or totem pole in the world. And that's in Beacon Hill Park here in Victoria. So we had an amazing day today. We got up really early. The, the weather fortunately held. We were really concerned early on. It was saying we'd have 40 to even 69 gusts, uh, kilometer an hour gusts of wind and we were able to capture it. The wind died down, it was perfect. Apparently there was a resident eagle who decided not to be here today, which was great. And we were able to get our drones up. Uh, we captured over 2000 pictures of, of the story pole. And of course, we're still biting our nails because this is a pretty complex capture. This is about, I think, 32 to 36 meters high. We had our friend Mike, Mike McBride show up to help us uh, control the area, keep an eye on the drones, and we flew them up there. We took about 2,000 or so pictures, and it was just an amazing time being able to capture that. And right at the end of the capture, I mean, our, our hands were freezing, but it just started, started spitting and then started snowing. So it, the weather waited off for us. Uh, and then we were joined by Dr. Jeff Bird, who's uh, doing a documentary with Chief David Knox on, on the Mungo Martin pole. It's been just getting out to the story pole. It was actually a nice moment where we all went up to the pole and just put our hand on the actual wood and that connection and, and just took a, took a second to just take in the plaque that's on the side of it, you know, that was put there to honor the, the First Nations uh, who had given their lives uh, to service and, and, and in combat and really hearing in conversation later on with Chief uh, David Knox about his goal to continue that commemoration. We were invited over to the Mungo Martin Big House. We were, just shared the stories, the history, all the, the important things that are going on in the First Nations community, the Aboriginal community out here. It was just a really enlightening an eye-opening experience and to be just welcomed in to the big house was just such a special thing and, and the the carvings that were in there and the history that was in there uh, and just the willingness to share and it was really a great experience to be able to you know come to the city of Victoria and have the city of Victoria really support and welcome us out there and further to that with Royal Roads and Dr. Uh, uh, Jeff Bird coming down to just what a wealth of knowledge um, and experience that you know he's done documentaries his research um, and his involvement with uh, you know commemoration military history and now the work he's doing on the Mungo Martin story poll along with uh, Chief David Knox in the documentary and we're just really really happy and, and hopeful that what we produce here might be able to be used for them either in the documentary or to support the documentary in some way. So it was a great experience to be able to collaborate. So couldn't say just how awesome of a day this has been. Uh, I think we're sitting here with a little bit of a, uh, an exhale of relief that we got the pictures done and we're just riding that, that elation of having that experience and connection. So we're really excited to get into the next portion, which will take uh, several weeks, is just to start putting those pictures together into this beautiful 3D model that will preserve this, this story pole that has been there since the 50s and won't be there for too much longer just because of its age. So what an honor it's been to be part of this.